Hello, my name is Trey. Welcome to What Kind of Change. Today, we're going to be talking about somebody I have not talked about on here, and his name is Sneeko. Uh, and the reason I bring him up is because he's a very interesting man, and I just have a few issues with what he's been talking about here lately, one in particular. So let's get to the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Y'all like that transition? I didn't mean to do that. All right, let's watch. So what do you do for a living? Porn. Oh, okay, okay, great. Um, like, what type? Only fans. Okay, um, with other, uh, by yourself? Um, with dudes. You could be one of them. I could, well, I, I personally don't do that. I mean, I, I don't judge. Okay. I, th I think everybody um, can do how, maybe we could do, we, we can make our own porn privately, you know? That's even better. Keep it just for us. Just for us. And then we, we could play it on the TV in the house and we'll pull down the windows. Nobody will see it. Just be just be me and you. You think we could do that, Emily? That'd be special. Yeah, let's do Dang, that. Dang, the people are in the Okay, so what, what got you into porn? Um, I find it fascinating, honestly. I just enjoy it. Like, Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. I have fun with it. I, I could tell you seem uh, really relaxed. Like you, you seem like you get massages a lot and like you, you go to the gym. Yeah, I, I massage myself every day kind of thing. Oh, you, you massage right here? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Best spot. Do, do you stretch at all? Like do you, you make sure like you get your, your arm stretches in or make sure yeah, that's right? Yeah, of course. Every that's day. Great. Chad, I'm sorry. Okay. Harab, I'm sorry, Chad. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, do you? Do, uh, no, I, I don't enough. But maybe when we if we get um, if we meet up, we can do a workout or something. When do you want to meet up? I want to meet up as I'm soon as today. possible. You're down today. Yeah. You could you're gonna come all the yeah, way to Miami. Yeah, let's do it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, I can I can get your information uh, from Rice Gum hopefully. This is why I don't like this man. Um, listen, I understand we all fall, right? Okay, I get that. Here's my thing. This is the same man who will go off on women, talking about being 304s. Same man who would talk about he's a man of faith because he's a Muslim. And then do this same garbage. The same. He asked her to stretch. Like, man, it's so. Okay, y'all. Uh, oh, baby, a rant is incoming. I'm sorry. I'm hyped now. I don't understand why this man would go out of his way to embarrass a young woman like that who is clearly lost, who think doing corn is something to be, uh, oh, it's just kind of fun. And we all know how evil the corn world is. And we've, I mean, it is obvious at this point. And this is the same man who says, oh, I'm a man of faith. I'm a Muslim. I do this. I do that. He is quick to bring that up. But the second a girl comes on with big boobs and he got uh, some fans on his little rumble. Oh, man, he just goes right off the script because he's a liar. He's a flat liar, man. Because I understand, like I said, if he slipped up, it happens, okay? Sometimes a beautiful woman comes along. I'm not necessarily mad at him at every chance he gets. But here's the thing. This man is live. He knows exactly what he's doing. And listen, listen how he said it, man. It's not like he was being nice and it was and that it devolved into that. He said, do you ever stretch a little? So he got her to show her boobs on camera to all these young men that are watching him. These men are supposed to be looking up to you, Sneeko, but this is what you do. And I can't stand that you say that you're, you're a Muslim and then say this kind of stuff. I hate people who use the religion grift. I hate people who use the religion grift because you try to make yourself feel like you're better because you'll use that as soon as you can when it comes to women and you'll use the faith. But the second you get tested, and especially in front of all these people, you exploit this young woman who is clearly has not, you can tell by the way she talks, she ain't got nothing going on. And I don't mean that disrespectfully, but it's just, just an innocent, or not an innocent young woman, don't get me wrong. But this is a young girl who probably is just trying to make, get some people to go to her OnlyFans and stuff like that. Instead of being able to talk to her, instead of being able to say the real things right there on your little thing, I sure you would do it on the Fresh and Fit show. You'd be quick to call these women out. But you had an opportunity, and I don't care how boring it gets. You saw your chat even saying, what the heck, Sneeko? What's going on, baby? Every chance you get, Sneeko, when you're on live, you should take that opportunity. If a woman comes on looking like this, you should be like, hey, what are you doing? Hey, what's going on? Hey, you shouldn't dress like that. Maybe you should put a shirt on. I'm not running this kind of show. 
this ain't that kind of place. I'm a respectable man. I told, I, t I tell my young men, honestly, to stay away from women like you because women like you are obviously going down a path that they don't need to go down because that world leads to sickness. It leads to something being very disgusting. Instead of taking that opportunity, you didn't take that opportunity. Instead of saying, hey, young woman, can you please go put some clothes on or anything that could have allowed you to still have this woman on here, you decided to exploit her. You decided to exploit her, right? And she's already into that world. I don't know her past, but she's obviously already doing this kind of stuff. She already exploits herself to young young men and older men all the time. And you had an opportunity right then and there after you transformed your life, right, to take this opportunity to do this. But Sneeko, and even when the whole thing happened with Myron and he was on there shouting the N-word, had on the Ku Klux Klan thing. I don't get it, man. You didn't take the opportunity right there to be like, hey, man, chill out. Hey, man, you're not going to do that. Get out. You don't stand for nothing, dog. The only time I see this man stand for anything is y'all remember what he did for EDP, right? If y'all don't remember, he went on J J Dion, J J Dion, called him. And what did he say? He said, free my man EDP, free my man EDP. I'm like, what is this dude, man? He's a disgrace. Like, I don't care if he trolls. Like, why would you take a victim, somebody who's a 15 year old little girl who's 16 now, who was getting exploited by this sicko of EDP and you took the opportunity to say free my man EDP it's like I don't even know who this man is I really don't to me y'all see him as famous I don't care how much money this man makes he's a disgrace he's an absolute disgrace to me because he takes all these opportunities to grift I can't stand people who do this kind of stuff if that's who he was okay then I couldn't be mad at him you know what I mean? But he he's the he's so contradictory and I hate what he does to the young men. I hate how many young men fall for fools like this. Because yes, sometimes he says some good things, but then he'll defend the cuties. Then he'll defend EDP. Then he'll defend somebody get on there and uh, saying the N word and saying that uh, I've been preach are monkeys and calling them N words and put on a Ku Klux Klan and then say he's this this he oh he's this great guy he can he can but he can get on he can get on a, a thing and say oh women are whores and women should do that and they should have a family I'm Muslim now you ain't none of that brother don't even get on here front you ain't none of that. To me, you're just a guy who got some clout on YouTube. You started off well, but the second that money started coming along in the Matrix, you fell apart. Folded like a tent. And I'll be glad. Glad. I think, you know what? You can have your free speech and everything, man. But I'm not going to sit here and say, I won't be happy when you're gone. And I don't mean gone like you got canceled or something, but I mean when you're no longer relevant. When people are like, oh, no, 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 no. I will be happy the day people... Be like, you know what, this man, I ain't gonna mess with him no more. That's all I want. I'm not asking for him to get canceled. I don't think his platform should be taken at this point. But I do think people should stop messing with him. And I'll be happy when people turn away and be like, nah, that ain't it. Go listen to somebody else. Like, what do y'all see in this man? And I understand it's young teenage boys. I get that. <laughs> I get that. I don't I don't understand. Because when I was a young man, I don't remember being into men like this at all, even though YouTube wasn't big like that back then when I was younger. When I was growing up, I was never into men who spoke this way. I was never into MGTOW or any of that kind of stuff when it was coming up, right? Even when Red Pill was happening, when Red Pill started to kind of have its peak or uh, men go their own way, when that was coming along, I was young. I was in my 20s. So I was there. I was ready for it. Even me, man, I just, I, the reason I was so against it because these men are so fake. That's why I can't stand Pearl. That's why I can't stand Pearl. Because she, at one point she'll say all this stuff. Oh, I'm a 1%. I'm six feet tall. I'm this, I'm that, I'm this. Can't even brush her hair. But then just get all over other women and be like, oh, well, y'all ain't married by 26. And then she'll say, and then her excuse will be but the reason she's not married at 26 is because she's saying that, well, I, I'm part of the problem. You're part of the problem and you're supposed to teach other women how to get a man. And you can't, I can understand Pearl. If you were divorced and you had a man and life didn't work out, but you literally can't get anybody. You're only hurting our young men by calling women whores every single day. It doesn't make sense. Like, I just can't understand the logic behind some of these people. How can you ask women to be virgins and then tell men it's okay to sleep with women? By that concept, there are going to be less women who are virgins because there's more men sleeping with women. You can't condone that and then say women need to be virgins. And then if a girl does not give it up, you say that, oh, she's this and that. It just don't make no sense to me. That's, that's where it makes the most frustrating thing to me. But back to Stinko. 
Sneaker, you make even less sense to me because you claim to be all this stuff and then you have a woman ex- get her stuff on breast and say, I'm sorry, chat. How are you any better than what Fousey did with the whole airplane girl? Right? Allegedly. Okay? It's just like, why are y'all doing this, man? Why does having fame and clout and money matter that much? And I, he talks about the matrix, but he's a clout chaser, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't like to call people clout chasers, but some of them are, man. And what I mean by clout, I don't mean just tr- they, they want to be popular for the sake of being popular. I think these people like people talking about them. They say controversial stuff that they want people to talk about them. They don't have any idea what they believe. They'll just say anything. That's why I don't like the uh, Aiden Rosses of the world, because they just say stuff and they just do stuff. But they have no idea what they truly believe in. Or at least we don't know that because we're not their close friends. And, and that's, that's a problem to me. It's like, why call yourself a Muslim and then immediately put women on there and exploit them? <laughs> why res- disrespect the religion of being a Muslim? I get if you have a slip up. I get that. But this is blatant, blatant disrespect. And I can't stand people like that, man. I can't. Y'all know I'm a man of faith. I'm Catholic. I get it. Am I perfect? Obviously not. But I, dang it, I try. And when I get on this camera every single day, Every single day, I try my very best to make sure I stick to what I believe, right? You'll never see somebody come up on my live stream. You'll never see me even make videos and try to look at a woman and say anything about her looking good, her being sexy, all this kind of stuff, man. I try to avoid that. Even even when I was making a mistake, and I'm not going to lie, maybe a year or two ago, I think about a year and a half ago from now, I was making videos trying to teach young men about women, but I went about it all wrong. Let me let me exploit myself. I made videos trying to help young men back in the day. But the way I did it is I used to show women on my screen because I needed something to catch their attention. Right. Even though I never said anything like this, I obviously never went against these women. I never said these women were sexy and I never said I approve of anything they did. I never said I would have sex with them. Definitely said I never have sex with them privately or anything like that. I would use them as an example to be like, this is what's wrong with the world. It took me about a month to figure out that that's not the way to go about it because I felt like I was tempting more men than I was helping them. If a woman, if a man gets on my live stream and he sees the booty in his face, and even though I'm explaining to him this is a trap, I was just trying to teach my not to fall for every booty they see. It still was a trap. I was still not helping, and I had to be talked to about that and not listen. And so that's all I'm hoping is that speaker will listen. I hope somebody sits this man down and says, what are you doing? You cannot call yourself a Muslim and then proclaim that to the rooftops or get on here and say all this stuff about you don't want to be in this and that and then do that. I'm going to say one more thing. Y'all know I, like, I watch a lot of Think Before You Sleep. I watch a lot of Brittany Venti. I watch a lot of Michelle McDaniels. I watch a lot of these uh, YouTubers, man. And one thing that I noticed they are consistent about is how bad the corn industry is. If they were, if Brittany, Sean, Michelle was to come on here and say something like, if they were to get caught in a live stream being like, oh yeah, oh yeah, we can go make a porno right now. If they did that, I would lose all respect for them because they, they talk about it so much. They went after people. They made videos on people talking about how bad the industry is, I would be just as equally upset with them because they're supposed to stand on something. And that's why I'm upset with Sneeko. Every time he starts to have a redemption arc, when he says he's no longer red pill, he goes right back to what gets him money, right? Because to be honest with you, I watch Sneeko and I just don't see the appeal. I just don't. I saw the appeal back then when he was talking about life. But now today... He's only if you're I'm going to tell you something, guys, if your main audience is made up of teenagers and sometimes it's just the way it is because teenagers are on the Internet more. But if a lot of the validation you're getting from is from young men who are teenagers, you got to reevaluate your content, because if you think that is what is should be driving you, there's a problem because you'll always be be honest with you. You'll always be better than young men. Right. That's why I respect people like the lead attorney. That's why I respect the people like, and I know some people don't like Kevin Samuels, but I did respect him. Okay. There's certain men, uh, JT pocket watch, I believe his name is right. I respect the men because they talk to men who make far more money than they do. They talk to men who got bankrolls. They got men who are more successful than them, even though they're YouTubers and they're successful in their own right. They talk to men who are more successful to them. 
successful than them. I feel like these kind of men, like Sneeko, Fresh and Fit, they only mess with men who are, or at least the majority of the advice they get, or the majority of their validation comes from men who aren't even on their level. From 13-year-old boys, 14-year-old boys, 15-year-old boys. They, and when you do that, this is what happens, right? Every day, I make sure, right, that I'm around people who are far more successful. My mentor is far more successful than me, way more. I told you about the guy um, that was a mechanic growing up my whole life, has far more money than I could ever dream of now. I've met millionaires, talked to millionaires. When I was had $20 in the bank account, and I'm still broke today. I don't make a whole lot. I make a little, but I would be considered broke to some people because the people I talk to make far more money way more money than me there's people there's a guy on here who said he had 500 acres yesterday on this live stream i need to hear that i need to make sure i never get so above myself especially when i really feel like i'm not anything special at all because i know how important it is for me to grow my character and to become more of a man and a family man and a husband and to be something for you guys i have to be around people i only can get validation from people who are doing far better than me, far better than me. Because if I try to just speak to young men, I could get on here, guys, and just get enough young kids to watch me. I could do that. I, I, I know exactly what kind of content to make. Because all you have to do is just watch these men. I know what kind of content we get the young men riled up and get on here and say, young whore is stupid. Pearl does the same thing. Pearl goes after young men. Women are whores. Women shouldn't vote. Uh, 304 says this women got got exact I could make that video about the brick lady I could easily say woman gets what she deserves don't mess with men I can start pulling in the crowd like that but I refuse to do so not saying you know certain things but at the same time I just try to be logical about everything anyway man Shaniko man I, I'm just so tired of the grifters man it hurts my soul to see how many people die in this social media world because of money and fame. And uh, I'm over it. I'm going to keep talking about it, but I hate that. I just hate that these, the older I get, man, the more, the more I realize I can't be naive. And sometimes I hate that. I wish I could be naive and just ignore these people, but I got no choice. My whole life revolved around helping as many people as I can, even if it's through my own failures. When I lost my house and I lost my vehicles, I lost my ex-fiance, and I was on camera crying when I was a young man, I made those videos to help. When I was broke and I was getting evicted out of my college dorm room, I still made videos on that, not for drama. Not for you guys to know how great I am. It's to show you how much of a fuck up I am. But I got through it and I grew up and I, I put, I was, I still growing as a man. That's why I made this channel called What Can I Change? To show you the great times and the bad times. But none of it's for clout. None of that gets to me. Because I know in a second it could be gone. And I will never take advantage of anybody who watches my content just to get clout from them. You don't see me going against my faith just to get clout from you guys. I don't go against the stuff just to do stuff. And I can't stand what is going on. And so my job, and even though I'm a small YouTuber, I'm a micro uh, influencer, I'm still going to get on here with the same passion every single day. and Talk about this every single day. I'm telling you, this is what keeps my fire burning. Men like him keep my fire burning, not just for him to be better, but for me to be better. Because at any moment I could fall at any moment I could turn into, even though he's younger than me, I could turn into a pearl. I could turn into a sneaker. I could turn into a fresh and fit if the money was right. So I'm not just talking to Sneeko. I'm talking to me. Trey, don't ever lose your fucking mind and think you're better than people. Don't you ever lose your mind and start leading young men into a place where there's only destruction because that's just going to come back to me. My young son can't see this shit. 
He can't. Anyway, I just really care about the young men out there, and I've just seen so many lives ruined. Um, it's, it's tough. And so uh, that's why I'm getting a little bit emotional. I can't help myself. And this stuff really, it really gets to me. I really care about the young men in this world. And it's sad to see what's happening to them. It really is. It's sad to see so many young men think that pornography, having sex, uh, getting money is just all of it is. And then I hear another story of a young man taking his life because it's like that shit doesn't get you anywhere. I'm not against making money. I'm not against all that stuff. But so many young men fall into this dumbass trap and then they turn 29 and realize it was all a lie and they got fooled for money and clout and they blow their heads off. And it's just driving me crazy, man. I'm tired of reading about it. I'm tired of hearing it. I've had young friends. I've had my own friends take their lives. And it just kills me sometimes. Because they believe the lie. They believe the lie. And that's why I get so passionate. Because I care. Now look at me, man. I'm over here looking like a... <laughs> now I'm over here looking like a, a dad. But I think about my son a lot. And that's what gets me emotional. I don't want my son to end up that way. So I got to do the best I can. Let me get out of here, man. I'm going to cry my freaking eyes out. I'm gone.